Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Spin Tires Blind. We have our big truck over here with which we are uh, uncloaking the map. And we're having, well, a fair few problems with the mud over here. This, uh, this place looks cool, looks very innocent and nice, but unfortunately is extremely soft and muddy. So uh, we are going to try and make our way over here to this uh, cloaked spot. So that is what we are doing now. We have to go left. And first of all, we have to start the engine. Right. Let's go. All wheel drive for now. I don't trust the ground over here. It's sneaky. Right, where the hell are we gonna go? You know what? Diff lock on. I don't want to get stuck over here, which I probably will anyway. And I mustn't stop either, because if I do, I will dig myself in. Oh man, this this doesn't look good. Where the hell am I going? I have no clue. Oh no, 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 keep going. Oh crap. Okay, let's, let's go this way. Uh. Come on. Ah, it's... Ah. I'm slipping. Damn it! Pull me there. Come on. Okay, you know what? I have to get away from that tree. That's a problem. Come on, pull me. Seriously? There you go. Okay, now I want to get pulled over there. Oh, parking brake. Urgh, get out of my way! Uh-oh, I shouldn't have done that. I am really stuck. Fortunately, I do have the winch, but yeah. No, well, that's a parking job. Oh no, it's not powerful enough to pull me. Okay, well, we have a problem. Hmm. Yep, can't go over there. Can't go right. Because of that tree. So, let's try to pull ourselves over there. Come on, just gotta turn. Just gotta turn. Just gotta turn! Yeah, come on, turn. Yeah! Yes! Okay, before we go anywhere, I, I need to see where I need to go. <laughs> Right. There. That way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, tree. That was a big tree. Man. It's difficult sometimes. Okay, to the right. Once again, it's near the water. There it is. Move closer to remove cloaking. It looks like it could be muddy. I don't like that. Alright, where to next? Oh, there's the E! <gasps> That's the big truck. That is the big truck. So, if I follow this path and not get completely hopelessly stuck, it's probably damaged though. Oh, there's a garage. Okay. So if you follow this road over here and unlock this garage... Yeah. Okay, please don't dig in. Uh, don't want to go down at that angle. Certainly not. Certainly not. Uh. Damn. Yeah, it's muddy here. Okay. Not sure why I want to go through there. I can just go over there. And be merry. Wait, am I going the right way then? No! Why is it showing me... What? I need to go here, left. Uh, that's odd. Oh well. I need to go this way. Okay, don't lift the throttle. Don't lift off. Just keep going. 
Don't want to lose the momentum. And then get stuck in the bloody mud. Excellent. Nice. Whenever you see the the E type or whatever, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of game over for the game. Ha ha ha! Because nothing stops that beast. Ow! Oh, that was a big rock, right underneath the truck when we jumped. That was painful. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to do that much damage. There it is. Ha ha ha! Oh crap, how the hell am I gonna get through this? Were I supposed to go there? I think. Whoa, I'm almost out of fuel. <gasps> yeah, almost out of fuel. <gasps> no, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare. Um... Pull that. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was close. No! What the hell? Um... Uh, I don't think this is gonna work well. No, no, no! Bloody hell! What the hell, man? That's horrible. The carriage is all... dirty now, but... That's the least of my worries. Okay. You guys really don't want me to go up here or something. Damn it. Right, I want to go up here then. We'll see how that goes. Oh. Yep, right up there. Right up there. And now... That way. Come on. Come on. There you go. There we go. And this truck is probably completely damaged and out of fuel. I'm guessing. Of course. It's got zero... Oh, it's got 32 liters. And, well, 800 damage. It looks pretty cool. This is the proper one. The, the one that was transporting missiles, I believe. Right, so that doesn't help me. Unfortunately, because it's far too far away from many stuff. If I unlock this garage, I guess I could drive it over there with 32 liters. Maybe. So let's go to the garage now. We will be out of fuel though. Stop! Stop! I've got a bloody parking brake on. Alright. Uh, Speed! This is muddy! No? Oh. Huh. Thought it was muddy. There's the garage. Oh, no, 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 no. Go. Very muddy. See, it, it looks so innocent, this ground, doesn't it? It looks like it would be completely fine, yet as soon as you drive over it, bang! You're in the mud. There we go. Well, this truck did very well, I mean. We've unlocked large parts of the map. And we brought some garage points to this. There we go. Unload. But, unfortunately, more garage points are required to access this garage. So, uh, you know, there's not much we can do at the moment. And this truck has outlived its usefulness for now, because it doesn't have any f more fuel. Well, 68 liters, not too bad. But probably not enough. Maybe enough to get over here, but not much more. And then I would just have to get a, you know, refueling tanker to get to it. So, um... I could try getting this guy as well over there. Let's see. It's gonna sputter and go all crazy. Yep. 
Alright, so, which way? Right. Oh my god! What? 40 liters? I've got everything off! What the hell? Yeah. Let's try that again. 40... 53 liters! Whoa! 53 liters! Whoa! Holy crap, that was fire! Fire out of the back! Okay, um... Oh my god! Let's try winching ourselves there. That's it? That's all the winch has? Oh, I have the parking brake on. Oh my god, that was fire! Whoa! Look at that, just a dab of throttle. And it immediately drinks a couple of liters. Oh uh, yeah, this... I have no chance to get to the garage. Whoa! Oh! Two liters. One liter. Zero, wait. Anywhere I can pull myself to? No, not really. So, hello. Blah, blah. <laughs> that was quite amusing though. That was fire coming out of there. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so. Let's get another truck now. I've got the one with the lumber here, but I need another garage point. So let's get that then. Oh, I've got this one. Can this one have the garage as well? Yes, it can. A small one. Mm. Actually, no, it's not small. It's fine. Off-road wheels, that's good. Hope this one has uh, four points. I mean two points as well. Yes, two points. Excellent. Garage. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's. I like this orange one. That's quite nice. It's not as capable, I think, but it's uh, it's light and it's quite nimble actually. So let's see what is our road. Oh my god, that's a long way off. Right. So I'm gonna try to keep. Sort of. Maybe this road is better. Hmm. This one is larger, but... I'm not sure if it's nicer. Is that tarmac or not? I have no idea. I don't think this is tarmac. No, it's not. Okay, I'll, I'll just go th through this one for now. I'll just make myself some... Um, waypoints over here so I know where to go. And then... I just need to keep going. Come on. Oh, I can't put any more points down. How rude. Let's go. Yeah, this truck is quite nice. I like the, uh, the sound as well. Whoa! All-wheel drive, please. We'll probably need deathlock over here. Yes, no. No, not for now. We're fine for now. Actually, you know what? I think it's gonna be quicker and use up less fuel if I just do the deathlock. And I need it for the water anyway. Okay, just keep going. Let's keep going. No water uh, level warning, which is quite amusing. Uh, which way, Mr. Arrow? Forward? Alright, you got it. You got it. Diff lock off. Oh, I need all wheel drive. Probably diff lock as well for that part of the mud. No, oh, it's fine. That looks muddy. That right there. And it's not. Interesting. 
Ah, I like this. It's not muddy, but it's sort of bumpy, so you have to be careful. Yeah, see, I'm getting lots of damage, actually. I think the middle part is too tall, and it's bumping against the uh, bottom of my, of my truck. Keep going. Diff lock, please. 350 liters of fuel, that's quite a lot. Alright. Don't need diff lock here, but I believe I do need all wheel drive because if I turn it off. Uh, it's okay for now, actually. I think it's because of the weight of the carriage. Yeah, I do need it now. You can see the back wheel just spinning freely. This is a nice forest road. Yeah! Power! Oh, bloody hell, 94 damage. Okay, actually, you know what? I shouldn't be going power anymore. That was a little too painful. I do have 200 repair points here, which are only for this truck. I don't, you know, I don't need it to bring them anywhere. But I should be more careful. Okay, I will need... Uh, come on, diff lock. And diff lock makes a, an absolutely humongous difference. And just in case you were wondering, as I said, I'm not I'm not an expert uh, on car mechanics at all. But uh, just in case you were wondering, um, every every car and pretty much every vehicle like this has a differential. The only difference is in your family car, you don't have a differential lock, and that is what enables these. Whoa, the back of the truck. Look at that, it's all smashed up. Bloody hell. Yeah, and that is the difference that, uh, you know, really makes an off-road vehicle capable. Because when you get stuck in mud, for example, the uh, torque of the engine will be transferred to the wheels that have the least resistance to turn. Which means, you know, wheels that are up in the air, wheels that are in soft mud, those will happily spin away and lose all of your available torque. And the wheels that are not spinning, well, you will have no grip there, obviously. Oh, I have to put more waypoints down. So, if you ever get stuck in mud, for example, with a family car, you obviously do not have the luxury of a, um, hmm... Uh, the luxury of a uh, differential lock. And if one of your wheels does get stuck like that, and you just keep pushing the pedal, you'll eventually blow the differential. You'll burn it out, which is a really bad idea. Uh, now the off-road vehicles, obviously, can lock the differential. Which means that the differential... I'm talking too much. Which means that the differential will lock all of the wheels that it's powering together. And the torque will be applied um, to all the wheels with the same power, if that made any sense. I, I, as I said, I'm not an expert. But it basically means that all wheels turn at the same speed at all times. Which also, incidentally, means that you cannot drive with a differential locked on hard surfaces when you're turning. If you're just going in a straight line, perfectly straight line, it's not a problem. But if you're uh, ever so slightly turning, or, you know, turning a lot, and you have differential lock on, you're going to absolutely destroy the differential. Because, for example, if you're turning left, the left wheel will be uh, turning a lot more slowly than the right wheel, which is on the outside. So you can imagine if you have the differential lock, those gears inside, the ones on the right will try to uh, move faster than the ones on the left. So basically, if the, if the differential will hold and take the abuse you're giving it, the wheels on the right or the wheels on the left, actually, maybe, will actually just spin faster than they're actually going over the road. 
So not only is it very dangerous, it's also extremely bad for the mechanism of the truck. Oh no, come on. And I've, he I've heard a story about some guy in, a, in the military actually doing that over here. Um, he was driving over the road with the def differential on. And when he drove the truck back to the base, <laughs> they basically had to overhaul the whole thing. Because it was completely knackered, so yeah. In any case, sorry about the whole technical mumbo jumbo, but I kind of like knowing about these things. It's very interesting to me. Um, but again, as I've said, I'm really not an expert, so I might have said something wrong there, but although I'm pretty sure I didn't. I think that's basically how it works, and that's how it is. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time when we try to get the garage. Bye-bye.